Hello. 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 Um, welcome to Shooting the Breeze. Shoot, shoot. Bang. Bang, bang. Um, my name is Sham, like Shamanek or not Shamanek. My name is Natsu, like Natsu the Gecko. Yeah, he's Natsu the Gecko. Uh, it's caught on. Yeah. It's caught on. Everybody calls me now. And um, yeah, we are shooting here at Komaya in Green Square. No, in Green Square in Komaya. Um, Green Square is an Akaiwa cafe where you can sit back, relax, and learn English. Um, so, what are we talking about today? You decided you're going to talk about something that's very dear to your heart. Go ahead. What, what would you like to talk about? Uh, I think I think you proposed that we were going to talk about dancing. Don't be shy. No, not being shy. This is actually the case. So Natsu is a very talking about dancing. He's a very talented dancer. So you went dancing. We were talking just now about dancing. Yes. Yes. And um, it was really nice. Your dancing's really good. Sham is a big fan of my dancing. I am a yes. big fan of your dancing. And he's not like being facetious. I think he, it actually brings him joy to see me dance. I think so. And I think with Mana as well. Don't you feel happy when you see him dance? Yeah, she's laughing and she says yes. Yeah, she she loves seeing him dance. I like seeing you dance. Yeah, this hasn't this wasn't like really my experience in America. I think. Really? I don't think people thought my dancing was that good. But maybe some of my coworkers enjoyed it. I used to dance a lot in the kitchen. Um, it was like when I have nervous energy, I start dancing. It's a way to calm myself down. I feel as if you look happy when you're dancing. Yeah, I mean, that would be weird if I looked sad when I was dancing. <laughs> Angry dancing. You've never done some angry dancing? Angry dancing. What do you think the, um, well, it might be a little bit like a uh, reductive to call it dancing, but the haka that the New Zealanders do, that's yeah. pretty angry, isn't it? That's more like a ritual. I don't know if that's, I mean, I guess you can have a dance ritual, but I don't really think of that as, I don't really think of that as a, it's like a choreographed. But, Hip hop dance looks really angry. They always look really angry. Whereas that's not necessarily true. Yeah, they're all like. Yeah, maybe there's some. I guess like maybe some of the facial expressions can be a bit intense or like aggressive. But your facial expression when you're dancing. Yeah. It's lovely. Oh, thank you. It's just full of joy. Yeah. It's like when a child wakes up on Christmas Day, mm. and they're just like, "Oh, it's Christmas." Yeah. I've got presents. Yeah, sure. That's, that's your feel. that's your face. That's how I feel, man. And that's how I feel watching you dance. Yeah. That's I mean, that's good to know. Man. I think maybe um, one of the events that we should have at Green Square would just be me dancing. Yes. In in front of an audience. Yes. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. So you went dancing the other day. Where where did you go? Why well, not yeah. dancing? You went out for drinks and stuff. Yeah, I went out for drinks, danced a little bit, out in uh, Korea. That was pretty cool. Can you have some more water, please? Yeah, some more water over here. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. You went to Shibuya. Yes. And I haven't been... I haven't been, <laughs> I haven't been dancing in a while, so it's really good. It was good. It was enjoyable. It's like, I feel like dancing is really... <laughs> you don't have to talk. Yeah, it's just like really doing everything to not be in the brain. Um, I don't know, it's like it just, it's stress relieving. But it's something that I don't really, I don't do often enough. I don't think anyone does it often enough, especially because of coronavirus and stuff. That's true. Yeah, I was masked up. You were masked up as well, yeah. that's good. Um, it was also but... Yeah, I mean, it's difficult, but I think there's some people who really prioritize it. Like, there's some people who dance plays like a pretty a pretty big part of their life. And I kind of wish it played a bigger role in my life, or like I wish that I did it more often than I do. Um, I just kind of, I just kind of forget. It's not, it's just, it's like a big event kind of. Sometimes. You gotta go out, it's like when you go out to go like, dancing, Probably drinking a lot of alcohol, you know. I'm not like 25, so I'm yeah, not I hear that. that all the time. I'm not recovering from those nights as quickly as I used to. 
And uh, you know, as, as fun as it is, also like, it is a bit, sorry, it is a bit, um, it is a bit nerve wracking at first, you know, working, it does take a little bit of courage to like, get out there. It's one of those things that you like, before you go out and do it, you're like, I don't really know if I'm gonna do it. And then when you do, you're like, oh man, this is just so worth it. Yeah, I understand what you mean. I understand what you mean. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's very nice. Like a drink service today. Yeah, like today. Usually we shoot when there's no one here. Yeah. Or when Michelle's here. And Michelle, if you're watching, she's she don't do nothing. Sorry, that's bad English. She doesn't do anything to quench our thirsts. Thank yeah. you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Um yeah, I think I it is a lot of work going dancing, yeah. getting dolled up, yeah. getting dolled up, like dressing nice, getting putting on your your best aftershave, or if mm. you're me, your best underarm deodorant, mm. and creaming up your face, like doing your hair, yeah. grease up your dry legs. Yeah, you gotta get all greased up. You just gotta cover yourself in, in olive oil. In olive oil. Just cover yourself in olive oil. That's too expensive. You can use like canola oil. Yeah. Salad oil, salad oil. oil. Yeah, just rub salad oil on your yeah, face. That way you just slip around. Exactly, okay. and you can move yeah. with a little bit more fluidity. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It takes a lot of work, and then you get there, and usually, from my experience, going clubbing, going dancing, it's not that fun. It doesn't. It never. It's always a disappointment. You know, it really depends on what your motives are, what your agenda is for the night. I think that a lot of people don't really enjoy it because the dancing is really like secondary to like guys don't enjoy it because their their primary objective, the reason that they're in the club is to get girls. So you're saying that the reason why I don't enjoy going to the club is because my primary objective is to get girls and then I don't get the girls. And so I don't have fun. I just no. I'm not saying you don't get the girl. Maybe you're very successful. In the club. You know, I don't. I don't know. I'm not sure. My, my objective when I go to a club is to chill with my friends, basically. Mm -hmm. And I like having conversations. I mean, why would you go to a club? Exactly. That? Exactly. That so, so already it's not a great place for me to be. So usually, before when I went clubbing, I would dance. Yeah. But I would take a lot of smoking breaks, and I'd just go to the smoking area. And just chill there. Mm. That is where I like to be. Okay, well, and I think I prefer bars. Bars. Bars, Isakaya's pubs. Yeah, I mean on a regular basis, sure. I'd rather be in. A, it's not that I'd rather be in an Isakaya or a bar, but it's just like you know, it's it's more of a casual atmosphere. It's like I'm not gonna go to a, a club on Tuesday and make that Drake song. I'm not gonna like you know. It's just, I'm not gonna drop into a club or something. You know, I mean? I'm just like a normal person. It's kind of an event to do something like that. You know, I'm not always in the mood for that. Not that I'm always in the mood for that. He's like, I, but if somebody were to just propose to me, like, hey, you want to go to these guys? Like, uh, maybe. But if you were to say, oh, let's go to the club tonight. I think you should try that. Come to Green Square and propose to Natsuo. Let's go to let's go to an izakaya. Yeah. Let's go to an izakaya. Oh, I thought you were just at the club. No, no, because you don't want to go to the club, but you said you, you're I always was pretty. Asking, you, know? you should come. That sounds rude. I'd go to the club with any of you. I'll go to the club with you. I'd go to the club with any and all. Of you. I'll go to the club with you. Yeah, definitely, definitely. No, not you. Yes, you, you. Yes, yes. But not you. you. We know but who not. You are. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. You know. Never with you. Stephen. Stephen, stop looking at me. Stephen, who's here to learn English. Yes, yeah, Stephen from Albanian. China. Stephen from China, yeah. Yeah, he's half Albanian. Yeah, Stephen from China, who's half Albanian. Yeah, mixed Albanian, Romanian, but grew up in China. Mm. Stephen. He works at Konami. He works at Konami. Yeah. But he's, he's applying for a job with a. Kojima Productions mm, now. Cool. So good luck, Stephen. Nah, Stephen, yeah. Enough. I don't want to hear from you. Stop watching me. Um, 
Yeah, dancing. Do you recommend people should go dancing in Japan? Do you recommend? Do you think the clubs here are very different from America? I mean, to be honest, I didn't really, I'm not like a big club person. But, I mean, I'm from Philly too, so uh, it's not even. Philly has, definitely has a club scene. I just wasn't in the club scene. Uh, but, the places would close at like 2 or 3 a.m. Japan is different. You know, you can just stay out all night, it's like 5, 7 in the morning, so it's a different experience. And uh, the clubs that I've been to were like super fun, you know? I think the music isn't as good as the places in Philly. Well, I mean, <clears throat> you just gotta find a club with your jam, yeah? Mm, yeah, but like hip hop, just like the selection, it's like, I, it's just like a little behind. Oh, okay. At times, maybe. Okay. Or just like there's a different vibe. Um, so yeah, music can be tough, but overall, like, atmosphere and stuff. Pretty cool. I mean, the first, the only times I've been to like a proper club have been in Japan. I didn't go to clubs in Philly. I just went to like bars where they mm. had like nights where they had a DJ spinning or something to check out my music. Um, yeah. So I haven't been like going to a club here has been kind of interesting because I went, I went to like two, and I don't know. It was just weird. It's like multiple floors, and there's like different music guards, on different, different like, floors. Different music, different floors, and there's yeah. like some Jason Statham looking like security guard and it's like transporter suit. And that's um, the bouncer, yeah? Yeah, the bouncer, and it's just like, um, it's just, I don't know, I'm there looking like this, you know, I'm not, I'm just regular, you know, so. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's good enough. I suppose so. Unless you're going to a really high end club or bar. Yeah, I don't know, I feel like people get pretty. Kind of dress up, you know? but maybe don't, dudes don't. I guess maybe dudes don't need to do that as much. So. I think, dudes, you should also make an effort. Yeah, dudes, all you dudes out there, make an effort, clean up. Yeah, clean up, boil yourself up, boil down, boil down or up. Either way, either way, just yeah. sort it's your preference. Yeah, sort yourself out, sort yourself out, man. get a nice haircut. Get some nice clothes. Not this, not this. Don't look at this. You cut your own hair. I cut my own hair. This is all right, isn't it? Yeah, pretty it's, good. it's not too bad. I cut my own hair. Yeah. If you want, you can come to Green Square and you can get a haircut. That's not a bad idea. Because there's a um, hairdresser downstairs. No, no, he'll cut your hair. I'm not going to cut it. Why not? You should offer haircuts here. This morning, I did something very nice. Mm. We'll talk about it on the next podcast. Oh, that's a tease. Coming soon. You'll see that I'm wearing the same clothes because we're going to shoot the next one now. Are we done talking about dancing? Yeah, because I know you don't. You you you're, you're not big on talking about dancing, but I think it was quite enlightening. The thing that um I wanted to talk about mostly was that when you go to a club, there are some people who try to look very cool. They're very very cool, and they don't want to be. They. They don't want to look silly. Whereas yeah. for me, I usually don't care how I look Just after I've had seven whiskeys. Yeah. I don't care how I look. That's not an exaggeration either. No, seven I'll... Seven whiskeys is not an exaggeration. No, oh, that's like, that's the beginning of the night. And that's, 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 that's pre-drinking. Yeah. And then um, I don't mind looking stupid. Mm. It's, one of his, it's one of his greatest qualities, how comfortable he is. And it's good because I look stupid a lot. I didn't say that. I, I just said it. Yeah. yeah. I'm just clarifying. I wasn't ins insinuated. I hear you. Yeah. I respect that. Yeah. So he was just going hell for leather on the dance floor. Going hell for leather means he was really going for it. He was really trying his best. He was just... No, yeah, just having a good time. Just having a good time, yeah. yeah. Just expressing your happiness. But I didn't used to be like that. I didn't like, I didn't start dancing until I was already in it. Um, <laughs> but by then it was nothing more to me that I like, yeah. yeah. Um, I was really shy when in my early 20s, I never danced. And, but then at a certain point I was like, this is wrong. Like I have to be able to, this is just such a fundamental human expression of like joy and happiness. And it's such a good thing that I just sort of, I just, I don't know, I just, I, I had to do it. I 
had to. And you have to. You have to. Not you, Steve, but you have to dance. Because it's good, it feels good, and it's like, um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of social pressure in those sorts of environments, you know, obviously, you know, clubs are places where people are going to, like, meet people, to date them, potentially, and that can be tough, but, um, you know, of course, that's still... I still feel a bit awkward about that. But if you yeah. go just to have a good time and just to dance and just to kind of blow off some steam and not and if you don't worry about those other things so much, like I think it can be quite an enjoyable experience. I think so. Yeah. I think it is a very enjoyable experience. Yeah. Um so yeah. that's it. Just yeah. just go and have fun, just dance. Don't worry about how you look. Yeah, don't worry about that. Just you can't just... look any worse than the two. No, but I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll film some of my dancing for this podcast so you can be inspired. Yeah. Yeah. So look, that's the end of episode one that we're going to shoot today. Um, if you just want to come down and have a dance or invite Natsuo to an izakaya, please do so. Please. We'll see you in the next one. This has been Shooting the Breeze. I've been Sham. I've been Matsu. See you next time. See you next time. That was like pretty on topic. That was, that was pretty good. I've been like really trying to be more on topic.